Okay, you know the music. That means it's time for an all new Driving Me Crazy. Have you ever been late to work because of a train? I have not recently, but it has happened. We don't really get affected here at 15th and Jefferson at uh, 3 o'clock in the morning, but my <laughs> wife deals with it all the time yeah. down there by OMSI. So according to ODOT, there are nearly 400 train crossings in the Portland metro area alone. Chris McGinnis, not driving us crazy this morning, <laughs> but tackling a topic that definitely drives people crazy. You know, guys, I actually got caught in not one, but two different crossings on two separate, two separate oh. mornings when I was going out to do this story. So how appropriate, right? So yes, train crossings drive me crazy. Uh, the schedule is unpredictable. They can take forever to clear, right? They can take, you know, 10, 15, 20, 30 minutes or more. And that is driving Portland drivers crazy. The Union Pacific maintains about 1,100 miles of rail in Oregon, which carry more than 215,000 rail cars full of Oregon products every year. Building products, lumber, Christmas trees, all exported from Oregon. The railroad plays a big part in Oregon commerce, but it's also a big pain in the ass to Portland drivers. Everybody gets stuck. Wait 10 to 15 or 20 for the darn train. Sometimes you know. it just stops. Stop. Nobody's moving and nobody's doing anything. Stopping runners in their tracks. Who can forget the train crossing right in the middle of last fall's Portlandathon? ODOT tells us that crossing on NATO Parkway sees about 30 trains per day. Stuck on the I-5 North exit to OMSI? Good chance there's another train behind that backup. This crossing we clocked at 14 minutes. 16 freight trains a day roll these rails near Southeast Gam Hill. And then there's the nightmare on Southeast Division. At least two days a week, every week, I am stuck behind the division nightmare of the trains. Because the other problem is that right in front of the train where we get stuck, it's a one way. And so there's no, once you're there, you're there. You can't turn and detour. You're like committed. TriMet's bus line 70 sometimes has to divert around Southeast Division due to the train traffic. We asked ODOT if there was anything they or the railroad could do to give Portland drivers enough advanced warning to find an alternate route. So if there was a sign flashing there that said train. Yeah, that would be very helpful. Yeah, of course. Then I would say, hey, great. I know what's going on and I can maybe go another way. I think ideally they should make some kind of plugins like Google Maps or Waze so it solves the problem like long term. And that would just be better for everyone. I mean, I like her idea. It seems like people like the idea of having a warning. So I wonder what ODOT has to say about it. So ODOT actually frequently already does this for like interstate bridge lifts, right? Mm -hmm. They put out an advance warning, sometimes 10 to 15 minutes. They do an email push, which then signals various uh, apps. They also have a warning sign on the freeway two miles from the right. bridge of Columbia Boulevard mm -hmm. yeah. that says, hey, there's an interstate bridge lift in progress. Sure which at least gives you the opportunity to get off the freeway and maybe find another route. Now, you could argue about maybe that's not the best spot for it, maybe it should be farther back. Right. But the point is that, is that they already do it for interstate bridge lifts, so it wouldn't be a big stretch, I think, to do it at some of those strategic mm. train crossings yeah. here in town. I know we don't have a lot of time here, but the fact is my wife is totally impacted by the train every day. She works out of that mustard yellow building. You see it down there off the 405 where Water Avenue turns into Stark Street, right mm -hmm. down there, inner southeast, and there's a train that runs right behind that building. Oh. And sometimes I'm on the phone with her, she's like, yeah, I'll be home in 30 minutes. Oh, here comes the train. Oh, I'll be home in an hour. There are, <laughs> there are a dozen rail crossings on that quarter mile or half mile stretch oh. of uh, Water Avenue between Southeast Clay and, and Stark. And, and that area is, is obviously backs up the freeway. So that's one of the, the big trouble spots we highlighted. I love your segments, Chris. They always get people talking. So if you have a spot that's driving you crazy, let's give Chris a little plug here. Email Chris at cmcginnis at kgw.com. You can also find him on Facebook or on Twitter. This was actually a viewer suggestion from nice. viewer Sarah there well who had been stuck uh, many times at that train crossing. So yes, thank Keep you. Keep coming. the suggestions coming. Yeah. Thank you yeah. viewers for your ideas. <laughs>